in 60s. Then there are more medications by 70s. Their whole life is a string of pills. Um, and, you know, they're all bent over. And this is just not natural. It's not natural as for us to die at 70. Oh, you lived a long life. 80 years old, that's a long life. Well, I'll tell you what a long life is. Living indefinitely, that's a long life. You know, this is our temple. When we honor it, when we honor it by putting nature in it on an ongoing basis, well, we'll be healthy. When we don't honor it, well, the results are disease. And disease is not a part of nature. We need to have the friendly bacteria. I take this every single day. There's all sorts of different brands out there, and most of them are pretty good for you. I won't say all of them. I'd stay away from the enteric coating. It's not that that's such a bad thing, but you don't really need it. Some of these come in powder form. Uh, we sell it in all sorts of different ways. The powder form, uh, that's fine. Sprinkle it on the kids' food. Yeah, kids need this every bit as much as adults. All children are, in regards to health, are like miniature adults. And that's why they've got adult diseases. At at 8 and 10 and 13 years old, they've all got diabetes and, and obesity, and it's an epidemic, and it really is an epidemic. I mean, this is really happening. So many children are overweight. So many children uh, are, 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 are victims of, of diabetes, type 2 diabetes, which is an adult uh, disease. We've never seen this before in children. Well, look what we give our children. Look at the garbage we let them, we let them hang around with day in and day out. Go to the movie theater and see what's available. There's no, there's no little sacks of carrots or there's no little, no little, little thing, uh, sacks of any kind of raw fruits and vegetables, apple available or anything like that. It's popcorn. It's, it's you know, milkshakes. It's candy. It's garbage. It's just, just fill yourself up with that. You know, if you sit down, your child's watching TV, you got your choice. You can put some popcorn there. You can put a little bowl of carrots and, and celery and apples and, and sweet fruit, grapes, and they'll eat it. Whatever you put there, they're going to eat. So if you put garbage, that's what they put in their temple, that's what they put in their bodies, and that's how they get sick. Um, you put healthy fruits and vegetables there, that's what they'll put in their body, and that's what will make them well. That's what will make them a healthy person. It's as simple as that. So once a, a baby is weaned from its mother and is no longer being breastfed, and yes, I definitely uh, encourage breastfeeding, and I don't encourage, I discourage uh, the use of these canned milks, Similac and, uh, and the like, um, as much as possible, stay away from those. Uh, the more you can breastfeed, ladies, the better your, uh, and healthier your child is going to be. Um, vaccinations, I'm very much against them. Uh, I make no bones about it. Uh, most of them have heavy metals. Um, there's an epidemic now of autism in our society. Gee, uh, where did that come from? That wasn't, that wasn't around when I was growing up. Uh, ADD, that wasn't around when I was growing up. We didn't have the healthiest diets in the world, but we didn't have an onslaught of garbage uh, put into our refrigerators and put into the, uh, the shelves of every supermarket in this country and in the schools themselves. Some of the schools have uh, a, uh, they bring in, uh, you know, a stack of Domino's pizza, pizzas every single day. Some of them have uh, the McDonald's right in the school lunch room. They have uh, uh, Taco Bell right in the uh, school lunch. And so what do these kids, they don't ever even offer them a good salad. And the salads that they offer are boring full of lettuce and things. I, I can't stand that. There are very interesting salads and it just amazes me to sit, sit, and sit down and eat a nice salad and they say, wow, that was really delicious, you know, as if they never tasted it before. Raw fruits and vegetables of any kind are delicious. We are programmed, we are conditioned to eat the wrong way. And then of course we never get the right bacteria in our body. It's so, it's so easy to do. Sprinkle it on your children's foods, get the powder and uh, just put it on there, and they won't even notice it. They won't even know it's there. My, my two boys, they're a little older now, but back in the old days, you know, oh, well, we've, we've got the powder. Just maybe don't put it on the food when it's, when it's hot. Let it cool down, because hot food will kill bacteria instantly. It's very fragile. <clears throat> um, but uh, put, put it on their food, sprinkle it on. Um, they get a little older, you can give them um, all sorts of uh, of different, uh, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables. You can give them, uh, you can sprinkle it on their food. You can give them capsules. It doesn't matter. Um, a lot of people say, well, it's in yogurt. Well, it's true, folks. It's in yogurt, but of course, I'm going to tell you, don't eat dairy products. Yogurt is not a healthy food. 
yogurt is a very bad food for you. All dairy products, and I love dairy products. I'm a dairyaholic, and I'll be the first to tell you that, meaning that I'm totally addicted to dairy products, and it is a tremendous struggle for me to go day to day without eating dairy products, but I do it. I do it daily. <clears throat> You know, I speed the car up when I go by the pizza place <laughs> instead of stopping because that's my favorite food. But the more you get away from those foods, the better you feel and the less you crave them. So I still do crave dairy products, but I stay away from them. But you'll find that in yogurt, but in very, very small amounts. But if anybody does have bad, bad breath as an example, or um, another example is candida, we'll get into that sec in a second. But if you got bad breath, well, you give somebody one of these tablets uh, with the acidophilus and bifidus. And this one here is kind of a high-end brand here. I mean, it's got all sorts of L. plantarum, uh, B. bifidum, B. lactis, and uh, ramathos. Um, so it's uh, just, once again, different types of bacteria that perform different uh, functions in the body. But folks, what, what um, is amazing is that if, if you start eating you know, the right way, raw fruits and vegetables, keep yourself properly hydrated with enough water, and then start putting probiotics in your diet each and every day, um, the friendly bacteria, what will happen is anywhere from one and a half to two and a half million different types of bacteria will appear in your digestive tract. Where do they come from? They're always there waiting. Um, there's all sorts of theories about where they actually come from, how they get into your body. It doesn't matter. We can theorize all we want. It doesn't matter. What matters is they do appear. Most of them, we don't know what, what they're doing there, but they're performing some kind of function. They're symbiotic. They have a relationship with us. They feed on the things that they need, and they provide us with great health. What do probiotics do? What do these friendly bacteria do? Well, they break down nutrients. They break down the food into nutrients so your body can absorb them. They allow these foods to be absorbed into the body. They keep the digestive tract clean. They keep it, you know, uh, it's like little scrubbers. That in particular, the small intestines, because this is where nutrients actually enter into the body. And if you eat a lot of cooked foods, and you eat a lot of foods with, uh, with mucus, and mucus forming foods, such as dairy products, such as rice, such as potato, all your starchy carbohydrates are very high, you know, in this type of, uh, you know, mucus, or, uh, which ends up forming a mucoid plaque inside the body, inside the small intestine. Um, once that happens, it, you get a wall that happens. Here's your small intestines and all these little tiny hairs here that want to take in nutrients. And here comes this mucoid plaque, which is kind of this rubber substance, to, to kind of make a wall there so the nutrients can no longer be absorbed into the body. So you may be overeating on a daily basis, but you're, you're, you're starving yourself to death. 